Hello guys, Almatraz here, just coming at you with another video. This is after this video that I made a few days ago about uh, possible, or about fixes uh, for the bot. And uh, a guy's actually requested that I do an in-depth tutorial on Steam Desktop Authenticator. Maybe some of you are having problems with it, I don't know, but I'm going to make that video now just in case anyone's having problems with it. So you're going to want to download the Steam Desktop Authenticator file. Um, I'll put a link to that down in the description. And... You're going to need to create a folder first before you extract it. So I'm just going to call it SDA 1.0.1.1 because it just extracts straight out all the files. So just extract them, drag them in here. So first setup, click here, Steam Desktop Authenticator. Yes. Okay, the screen's going back. There we go. So when you get in here, if this is your first time, you click this is my first time I want to sign into Steam accounts. Or if, uh, if, if it was an update and you had this new, you could transfer your files over. But I'm just going to show you how to set up a new account. So I'm going to type in setup, literally just click on set up new account. I'm going to try CSGO. If I can remember my password. I don't think that's it. Oh, okay, maybe it is it. I'm going to get the code from the email and I'm going to come back. Right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I got my email code and I typed it in here and it'll bring you to this screen now. So enter encryption pass key, leave blank or hit cancel to not encrypt. It says very insecure. That's what I always do. I always just leave it blank. You can put an encryption key if you want. If you want to have to type it in every time you access the authenticator. But I just leave it blank. So let's go. I, I think that for... Yeah, I think that for doing the... Uh, the bot, I think that it has to be blank. I'm not 100% sure. I, I do think it has to be blank if you want to use the, the bot that I made the tutorial for. Okay. Okay. It says enter your revocation code. It's going to ask you to type that in again, but I don't think that you actually need it. So if I just like, if I just like put that, I'll just, I'll just name this that It doesn't matter. R4. Zero five six seven. Okay, then please input the SMS code set to your phone. So if I just get my phone. Okay, guys. So I got the code that was sent to my phone. Four four three six. Okay. Enter that. This is where you have to type that in again. R four zero five six seven. Accept. And once. Yeah, that's the same code. Okay, so now your Steam Desktop Authenticator is all set up. If you want to log on to Steam, you can literally just click copy here and it'll copy this login token here. Your confirmations, if you have trade confirmations or market confirmations, they'll show up here. So nothing to confirm, refresh that if you want. So I'll show you the different settings that you can go through now. If I can look in here in settings. Okay, so what this will do is check for confirmations. So market confirmations, trade confirmations. Uh, and you can select how long. I would recommend setting this like 30 seconds maybe because it actually stops working and Steam blocks you from doing it if you do it too often. Uh, so you, that will show the pop-up. Check all accounts for confirmations. That's if you have multiple accounts. So auto confirm market confirmations, it's gonna it's gonna put up that it's warning and it's at your own risk. It is at your own risk. That you don't have to confirm market transactions or auto confirm trade. You don't have to manually confirm transactions both these so yeah it's kind of insecure but i suppose if you did a lot of trading it would be very handy i would just leave them off because they're pretty insecure honestly uh so now for the part of getting the ma files if you were following my tutorial and you don't know 100 percent how to get them you would go here ma files okay so if you have multiple accounts in here and you don't know which one's which you just click on it and your uh, username will be here. So as I went over in the tutorial, all of um, all of the information that you'll need for the config and the tutorial for the bot, all the information you need will be in this file that's for your account. It can't be for, um, you just need to make sure that it's the right account for this and all the information will be here if you follow what I did today. So that's pretty much all the features of the Steam Desktop Authenticator and how you use it. And uh, yeah, that's the video over. I'll see you in the next video then.